Hello YouTube and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the window search bars so when you come in this problem and you cannot search anything just when you typing is not showing up but uh, in other application the, your keyboard is just working like fine but just in window search bar it's not working so I have a, a solution for you by finding on through the Google and go to Microsoft forum so I found the solution so let's see how it works. So the first thing you need to do is go to your file explorer. So here is my file explorer. I just open it up and then look at to your dry C's. Um, it's over here. And you need to find the folder called Windows and just press S on your keyboard to, to find the system 32 and the ball clicks on it. And the program that you need to find is call ctfmon so it uh, start from c letter ctfmon ctf open it up here so uh, the first when your keyboard is not working you just the ball clicks on it and make it run so now when you type in on your keyboard it should work but the problem is when you do a restart or reboot your computer your OS and the problem is a cause again so to fix this problem we have a solution so you need to uh, find this cell command on the descriptions and just copy it and then you need to press window key plus r so window keys plus r and just paste this in when you paste this in just click on ok and here is my fix because i created a shortcut for this application to make it run for all users so for you this this may not exist so when i delete this becomes like this so make you the same easy to understand so you need to move back to your system 32 and find these apps again and right click on it and choose create shortcut so when you create shortcut uh, this is warning that uh, we cannot create shortcut here so the shortcut will go to desktop instead so just click on yes and then you will find a new shortcut on the desktop so just click on it and you need to cut it you can make a copy but for me it's cut it easy I don't want to mess it my desktop so just paste it here continue so now it's everything every time when you do a system reboot and this software is will run automatically so this can be solved your problem easily i don't know why this occur after i update a new window the new windows update and i caught this problem so i hope um, in the future the new window update will be fix this problem as well so thank you for watching this video i hope this little trick uh, uh, easy for you and solve your problem because it make it me headache for a whole day by looking for through the solution so don't forget to hit like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe for me for more video like this thank you